In this demonstration, we're going to cover charts and graphs at the group level. So we're going to put together group level charts, go through those options, some display considerations, and some guidelines. From Crystal Reports, we're picking up from the first line, bar, and pie chart demonstration. We're going to reuse some of this to help us out. The first thing we need to do is insert a group. Let's go to Report, Group Expert, and let's go ahead and choose Sale Time and highlight and click on Options. We'll do Ascending Order and we'll do for, say, each quarter. Press OK. Press OK. Now we have created our groups and this is where we're going to place our chart. So let's click on Design View. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's go ahead and right click and insert section below. Let's make room for our charts. Now we can click here and copy this chart and simply paste into our new group section. Align that top left hand corner and let's resize a little bit. Hover your mouse over the control box, click and hold down and let's shrink. Find the vertical control box and let's shrink this down just a little bit. It's important to size this correctly for the group section. It's easy to have room at the top or the bottom of a report, but group sections, well, the real estate's a little limited. Let's right click this and we're going to format our chart. We're going to go to border and we'll choose a single line around the left, right sides, and the top and the bottom to kind of give our chart definition. Let's go ahead, press OK. Now let's go ahead and add another chart into our group. Let's add this bar, highlight, control C, or simply right click and copy. Now we're going to come back in here, we're going to right click and paste, and we'll place it right about there, that top left hand corner. Now this one also needs to be resized to fit. Let's go ahead and zoom out. We'll hover our mouse right over this control corner here, click and hold down, and we'll bring it up right to about there. And one last time, let's grab that pie chart. Right click, and we're going to copy. Right click and paste. Let's align that left hand corner right about there. And we can zoom out a little bit more. Sometimes, if you go off the uh, page, it's necessary. We're going to hover our mouse over that control corner once again. Click and drag. Bring it up. Line it up with the other charts. And there we go. Now let's zoom back in. So far, so good. Now let's click on preview and watch what happens. Let's go ahead and right click here and suppress this section. We'll right click and suppress this section. We're just suppressing the report header sections. We just like to see our group sections clearly. Let's give us a little more room. As you can see at the group header level, we now have these charts, but they don't make a whole lot of sense. It automatically has already grouped them by quarter. So let's go and change this up a little bit. So let's right click on this chart, say chart expert, and you have two options when you're dealing with charts at the group level. You can apply it to the group template, meaning every single group in the report or just this instance. I highly recommend you stick to the template. Otherwise, depending on the number of groups, you'll be manually modifying each one. Let's go to data. Let's click on sales time. Let's order. And instead of for each quarter, let's do it for each month. Press OK. Press OK. Not the best example for that group, but bear with me. Now this line chart here, well, it's somewhat helpful, but let's go ahead and swap it out. Right click, chart expert, apply to this template, and let's choose gauge, and then pick our data. Go sum of sales amount, press OK, and there we are. Lastly, let's look at this bar chart. Go to our chart expert, apply to the group template, Go to our data, click here, highlighting the sales time field, and let's order it. And let's do for each month. And press OK. Press OK. Now, it doesn't look like much, but let's look at another group. Much better. So let's go back to our design view, and we're going to swap these around just a little bit. We highlight this chart here, 
and we'll put it next to this one. We'll pull this up here. We'll right click on it, format our chart, and we'll give it another border to kind of, well, give it some definition. Now you can highlight all of these, right click, and you can align the tops. Then you can right click again and size it the same height. That way they all fit neatly into the section. Can tighten up the section just a little bit. We'll just pull this up here and let's look at our preview. So far, so good. Now if we click on other charts, we can see how they come out based on quarter and with months broken down. So you can see this is the beginning of a rough dashboard. The point of all this is you can use charts that you create at the report level and break them out by the group level automatically simply by dragging in or creating a chart inside that group level. Crystal reads it, understands it. One thing to keep in mind is make sure if you make changes, you apply it to the group template. That way it applies to all groups and your reports stay consistent. Another consideration is sizing. You only have so much space in this group level here. You can easily pile in 20 charts, 12 charts, but then they kind of fall off the page. They're hard to follow. So you want to kind of pick the most important ones or the ones you think that make a statement and put those there. That way, people, when they look at the group, can tell it at a glance, well, how did this quarter do or how did this month do without getting too detailed. Now, here's some things to keep in mind as you're working with charts and graphs at the group level. Keep things sized appropriately. You don't want to make it too big, too long. Kind of keep it with the, well, the template of the page. Don't overload the group section. Two or three basic charts are pretty much all you need. And remember, show the most important points in a group. You can choose any point of data, but you want one that tells the story. If you had to summarize a group of data or a quarter or a year, what figure would you use? What would be the most important takeaway? That is the point of visuals. You're summarizing the data, the most important points of the data, for other people. And I can't say this enough. When it comes to data visuals, less is more effective.